back a year ago we've heard about the Spartan and the Prosper trials with uh, anzalutamide and apalutamide, which also show that metastasis free survival is very significantly improved, as we just showed this year with darolutamide in Aramis. Now, what probably makes a difference to me is when it comes to safety profile. Both anzalutamide and apalutamide cross the blood brain barrier, darolutamide doesn't. And probably this explains why. With darutamide, we basically don't see any difference or very mild differences compared to the placebo in terms of safety profile, while for anzalutamide and apalutamide, we do see some side effects in, in excess, uh, such as fall, fractures, cognitive impairment, hypertension, all these things. And that can really make a difference in, in, in patients' decisions.